I feel like with the rose of Venus, you're in alignment. You're you're in the right kind of alignment with the flow, the right relationship and harmony. That can mean multiple things. Business, family, personal, you know, friends, romantic. Put that right there on the two of cups. What else? What's moving? Spirit, what about the spirit of the people? What did I say? What did I just say about the child within, about you being talented, that inner mother, the innocence, gentleness, tenderness. It's like you're teaching people how to mother themselves, how to reparent that inner child. That's where the page of swords with the research and then the knight of swords is like you're executing what you've learned. It's like you're applying it to your everyday life and you're moving fast. Like the knight of swords is swift. You know, he's, he's, it, he comes in. And says, you know what? I got you. Got you, I got you, I got you. I got you. Okay? You don't got to walk around feeling broken spirited, empty spirited, broken hearted. I got you. I'm going to tell you. I got the recipe. I'm going to show you how to how to fix it. And that's a, head, that's a lot of responsibility with the Knight of Pentacles. That's heavy load. But you're up for the challenge. Because you've been in hermit mode. Four swords kind of correlates with the hermit's repose, that exile. You know, it could also mean death at the same time. Tell me about the four swords. The fertile void. I feel like it's Pluto energy. Like the, the inner winter. Re wow. The inner winter rest, patience, potency, secret beginnings. You've been marinating on this for a while. You've been working at this in, in isolation, you know, in exclusivity for a while. Okay, it's time to rest. That's about, this talks about the part about giving it oxygen so it can grow. When you plant seeds, you can't just smother it with water too much. You have to allow it oxygen so it can come out of the ground efficiently. All right, tell me about the hermit mode. Hermit the hermit mold. So tell me about the the high priest, the hierophant, the high priest, the hierophant. In, he's in reverse. The anointed answer the call. Leadership empowerment soul gifts is exactly. The people deserve a better leader. Now, now I hear the Godfather, your casino, is my credit good enough to buy you out? You can buy somebody out, okay? You get ready to make them an offer they can't refuse. And he's telling Mo Green, he said, Mo Green is like, no, I, you don't buy me out, I buy you out. And Michael says, your casino loses money. We could do better. He said, you think I'm scamming off the top? And Michael just said, you just unlucky. And he got mad, of course. He said, I do you a favor and blah, 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 and take Freddie in when you're having a bad time. Y'all, he said, y'all just make me laugh. He just had a lot of disrespect for him because he didn't think that he was on his level. And he should, he had to make him an offer he couldn't refuse, needless to say. So you're going to have to play, you may have to play a little dirty because the hair fine in reverse. To me, I picked up corrupt energy, okay? Because you're not playing fair. So you as the anointed, you're answering the call of leadership and empowerment and you're doing whatever you have to do. And again, with the Knight of Swords, it's like, okay, I have this newfound information, this knowledge, and I'm executing it, okay? Like we healed over here, so we're, we're a lot stronger. And this is, this does declare war in some instances because they're gonna come at you because they're corrupt and you're not. So they're gonna come at you and you're gonna have to fight them back. But you know, that's the, de you're delegating, you're in a leadership position and you're very wise, you're very fair, like you're a merciful person at the same time. You're not hard hearted about it. It's like, I don't want no hard feelings. Now I see Della Reese in um, Harlem Nights or she's like, you don't accuse me of stealing. The only thing I'm stealing is your face. Now I don't want no hard feelings after. <laughs> see. Hold on, why does this? The second bloom, what is that for? I looked at the sun and the king of cups. Illumination, 
it's a second chance. It's never too late. New possibilities. You created something for yourself. That with the sun and the king of cups. I want another one for that. For that one. Okay? The world. The world is a new beginning. You're ending off a of dumb shit and you're you're manifesting something stronger. All right. The second bloom. Because you got an opportunity for a river of blessings to really do it better this time, to really do it stronger this time. All right. So I don't know. I'm about to figure out where that's about to go. Can you want on the world? I hear the world is a ghetto. I mean, it can be. You walk down one city, is is phenomenon. You go down another city, it's rough. It's around the edges. Schizophrenic. Healing the mother line. Healing. You're breaking generational curses is what I get from this. The mother line. You're growing up. You're maturing. You have to be. I think that's going to be for the King of Cups. Like there's a lot of stuff that's ending for new beginning. Healing, ancestral work, mother line. Like you're doing, you're teaching, delegating. That will be on my King of Cups. All right. Let's give me another one. Don't touch the cards. Pop out. Oh, cards. No. The sacred waters. Nourishment, replenishment, health, rest, self-care. That's for the sun card. And you learn learning something like a healthier way of doing things too. Like holistic practice. Like a, a natural way of doing it. Like ritual baths is very important. Let me see the illustration. Look at the illustration. It looked like she's being like baptized or something. Like it looked like Hey, you see this? This is a part. This is a face. It's like the ancestors. Like she's kind of like hugging her, and like the way I'm embracing my my kid with my arm around them, right right now. And that's that would be you. Illumination. You know, God got you. You know, you could you could be the the representation of the child on here, like um, like people say a child of God, but a servant of God. And the sun is um is the illumination. The light is on you. The spotlight is on you. The anointed, the leader, empowerment, female empowerment. It doesn't have to always be female empowerment, but in this case, I feel like it is. You're moving the people. Okay, you're healing the mother line. A lot of us come from or raised by mothers who are broken spirited or broken hearted. It could be a combination of both. It could be one or the other or broken down mentally, you know, by lesser men i'm sorry to say it like that but it's true there's so many of us that has survived we're in survival mode that's what we know that's second nature that's like the basis of who we are and we're outgrowing that because now it's time to to heal this is structure of the heart and soul okay the home is like going within go inside yourself like fix your spirit like, don't replace it with tangible things, but rather make it a tangible thing to know how to heal and grow like that. And you have better harvest for it. It's not like some temporary fix or something. It's long term, long money. That's long money. That's mega millions right there. Like, you can make it a lifestyle. Like, bring, make it a tangible thing. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, make it a lifestyle with this. All right, give me one for the sun. Matter of fact, healing is happening. You're in all that. Thank you, God. Look what this say. The card says, you're not broken. Trust the process. It's safe to soften. Wow. The intuition is, is like real, like speed, that speedy intelligence is real super strong right now. You're not broken. You've just been, you've been through things. And that could be him saying, you know, your parents were not broken neither. They just, they didn't know, like if you, if you're from my generation, meaning if you grew up in the 80s and the 90s, your parents were specifically born in like the 60s 
for the 50s, so to speak. So they didn't walk outside with their emotions. Their parents, which would be my grandparents, um, which were typically born between the 20s and the third, the 20s through the 40s, all four of my grandparents. They typically were not raised to walk outside the way you see people walk outside with their emotions all over the place like that. And it, it made us be more logical and disciples of tough love, tougher love. And people nowadays are very different. They walk around with their heart on they on their sleeve and we are we just think it's the most foreign thing. I just think it's so different. They're just designed different. The whole environment is different. Uh, the world. We are nature. Becoming grounded, embodiment, living in connection. Exactly. I feel like this is traveling somewhere else to ground yourself somewhere better. Like you found somewhere better to plant roots and it's going to work. It's going to work. Like you've been given the down, you've been given the key. You've been given the download. Look at that. Like her and her purest and her essence and her aura. Okay. And all her masculine and feminine oh. energy embodiment. You see how she's grounded. Like she's taking that seven of cups, the seven cups of talent and thought just, just something, it's an idea of uh, who that turned into, you didn't even expect it to turn into a business proposition, but it was just a thought. It was an emotion, one emotion at a time. And it became a creative endeavor. And that creative endeavor, you start planting roots. It start planting its roots and it became a global thing. It's a, it's a thing now. It's like now you've become obsessed. A second chance to learn. Learn where you still need to grow. I think I'm gonna put the second bloom on the page of source. Let me get one more. Okay, just take it slower this time. Maybe I should put this one in Knight of Pentacles because it's very interesting, you know, how you've managed to bring all this into a ten and turn all this into a lifestyle of great health. Like health is wealth. Like you see people on the outside looking in. They have workout regimens and they're very successful in their workout regimens or they eat clean. It's something to do with overall health. There's something they're doing specifically that caters to overall health. That That's the, the lasting result, the ending result. And you have figured out a recipe for healing. Like you're, what you're doing is Reiki. Reiki influenced or yoga influenced because Reiki heals. It's like your, our organs carry emotional trauma it carries trauma emotional bruising and from you for you to go within like that to bring it into a tangible thing you could be a reiki master so many videos from months ago talks about being a reiki master and a yoga teacher like these things yoga heals physical physical pain physical trauma sorry physical trauma the way it stretches your body and keeps your body limber and shifts your energy reiki is emotional trauma is a healer of emotional trauma and you you've been given you learning something i think that's what the page of swords there is for and you're executing it with that knight of swords it's like you're not wasting no time you run it you're taking this and you're running with it now i see the track star what was her name the fat jackie wilson how am I going to forget her name? She was beautiful too. Light-skinned lady with long black hair. She's the fastest woman in the world at the time. Um, she passed away now, but I'm just saying, like, she's... What is her name? Put it in the comments. But she... Why did I bring her up? I'm visualizing her as... Wait a minute. Slow down. Oh, you're executing it. You're taking it and you're running with it. You're not wasting no time. Like her, that's what it's made me bring her up. Like how fast she, like, you're not playing with the Knight of Swords. Page of Swords. See? That's it. Plant yourself here. Learn a new area. Learn a new space. Learn how to establish a green thumb. Harvest is what this is about. Harvest. Grounded. 
all that green that pretty green wait a minute wait a minute i said green and gold was your colors right look at that green look at that portal right there green look at that green a lot of green and gold like leprechaun Ooh. give me leprechaun vibes <laughs> integration embodiment grounded action taking the necessary steps on what you need to do okay learning where you still need to where, where you're going to be growing harvest that's my favorite word now harvest okay you examine it you're doing some some dual diligence some serious dual diligence get down Okay. Well, let's switch this around. Now I want to switch this around. Plant yourself here can go on the Knight of Pentacles and the second bloom can go on the Page of Swords because that's talking about a second chance for new possibilities, which could be the Ace of Pentacles, but I'm not sure. Let me see what the next card says. Yeah. Get down. Get off my counter. The crowning. I knew it was a death of transformation. I said that a while ago with the anointing. Like I, it gave me Pluto death of transformation energy. I, I felt that. Oh, Initiation that's... thresholds, birth, rebirth, that's a seat that's... at the table. Okay. You see how she's sitting there? The woman, if you look at her, she's birthing a rose. Birth, rebirth. Ascendant, descendant. Okay. Your parents could have been starseed light workers. And they descended, you descended from a, a starseed light worker. You're a starseed light worker just like your parents. Okay, that's how you're keeping it going. That's what the world and we are nature. Okay? A crowning. What did I say this was going to go? The Ace of Pentacles? Initiation. That's God initiating you. That's what that pinnacle represents. Is initiation, a birth. You see that? Ah. She's your queen to be. That's from coming to America. I don't have right to that, but that's ecstasy. Okay, that speedy intelligence. I'm talking about a seat at the table. Well, congratulations. Okay. And look who's on the bottom. I'm going to stop right here. The sun. That was the overall energy in the first place. The sun. Okay. Joy. Enjoyment. Life force. Success. Vitality. Play. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That can go right here. Okay. And what's underneath that? Your grandmothers. What I just say? You were hidden in plain sight. Okay. You were hidden. Mystery, learning and teaching. That's going right there in the page of stories. They were learning you. Learning where you still need learning you. Where you still need to grow. The sun. The sun and the sun. That goes there. Healing is happening. Slowly plant yourself here because this is where you're going to be doing your work. This is where the people are going to benefit from you in this area not this area this area okay they had the people in the area you're leaving from had their chance and they blew it okay they didn't take to it fast enough they just didn't catch on innocence forgiveness be gentle with yourself do not take it personal when people show you who they are it's okay you still have a responsibility you still have a mission you still have a higher calling okay it's not personal it's just not the tribe you need to be working for sometimes god pulls you out of spaces to push you somewhere better as you grow and evolve remember everybody has free will you're not for everyone embrace your weirdness face your true north and continue to make your life a moving prayer yes yes thank you thank you thank you thank you don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Until next time. Bye.